the uh, the demo that Robin has suggested is showing how students who are working in a small group here live in the lecture theater or the classroom can collaboratively work on a file in Teams and how I as an instructor, because I can't circle around the room for social distancing reasons, how I could connect with them uh, here in the classroom and have a, a sort of a more intimate conversation with them uh, without having to circle around the room and interrupt the entire room. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to ask uh, all of you to go back into my Rob's demo team. And let me find that here myself. I have two groups set up, group A and group B. So what I'd ask you to do is go to, T, uh, click on the tab for group A. And you'll see that I have some files set up in there as well already. I have a PowerPoint file tab in that, which is editable by anybody who can access Teams. So you could collaboratively as a small group work on this PowerPoint file. I'm just waiting for it to load up here. It looks like my Wi-Fi connection is a little bit, uh, a little bit slow. Okay, so this is my PowerPoint for breakout activity for uh, those of my students in the BED program who are, who are teachers of STEM courses. So I'd have them each editing one of these slides. So they could work in a small group on this. Now, if I wanted to talk to them as a smaller group from here, so Robin and uh, Lynn are off on the far end of the lecture theater, they're not so close to me. What I could do is click, when I'm in the group A tab, I could click on the meet button and start up another video meeting like the one we have going with Carolyn joined remotely right now. But this would only go to those who are added to group A. It wouldn't go to everybody in the whole class. So I could stand up here and I could, uh, I could just have a little conversation with you. I could talk not so loud so that the whole class can't hear. Robin and uh, and Lynn and Carolyn, she was a member of that group. They could hear me through their headsets or through their speakers on their laptops, but the rest of the class isn't being interrupted. And then I could pop out of that meeting and circle around to another group, just like I did last year when we were doing wholly online classes. I could pop around from room to room. I could put rooms on hold. You could be in a meeting with up to four rooms at a time, plus the main room, and you could put them on hold and pop back and forth to them.